the dog barks, I start smiling. Yeah, me too. And the more they, they bark, the more I smile. It's kind of like music yeah. to me. You know, each dog's got a personality, really. Uh, I guess it's not a personality. I guess it's a doganality. Yeah. And they're individuals, and, and they act individually, but then when they... Uh, they kind of like a common goal, and out here it's a rabbit, and so they work together uh, as, a after, team. as a team. After they once get on that rabbit, then they'll work together as a team, and, and like bird dogs honor each other, rabbit dogs honor each other. Uh, if a dog is reliable, those other dogs know he's reliable. When he barks, if there's a rabbit there, those other dogs know that, and likewise, when a dog barks a lot, and there, sometimes there isn't a rabbit there, those dogs will get to recognize that too, and, and they, they won't respond as quickly. But uh, we've worked these dogs together for a few years now, and uh, they work good together as a team. Well, some of them have a chop mouth, which is a, a short, you know, a Here's short bark. Yeah. It's, it's a chop. And some of them have a ball. Uh, which is a long drawn out, uh, and we've got some of both of those. And then we've got a squall or two, if we ever get it going here directly, well, you'll hear them all. And some sound like a, a rooster crowing that doesn't really have a, any, any other comparison to it other than a rooster crowing. But each of them has their own sounds, and if one of them hits a really fresh trail and barks, the others will respond to that knowing they work together in teamwork, and they combine to make a pack, and then the whole pack will get, go to that trail. And if they lose it, then when the first one that hits it again, the others will rally to that dog and join together to, to chase the rabbit. I think they're gonna get it going. Let's well, ease on down just a little bit further. I think they're gonna finally get this thing going. When the dogs begin to scent a rabbit, some of the, do the dogs with a really good nose can smell a rabbit that may have been there several hours before. And as that barking increases to a certain point, they will track the rabbit down to his daytime bed and move that rabbit. And that rabbit is like any person would logically do after being run out of his bed, would make an, a circle around, hoping to outrun the dogs and come back to his bed, hope the dogs won't follow him but it's somewhat an elliptical or circular path most normally that they run in and we look for an opening somewhere between where the dog started the rabbit and uh, where we think the rabbit will come back to his home range and wait for the rabbit to come by. Usually the rabbit's quite a few minutes ahead of the dogs and takes his time and instead of running, you hear the dogs running, you think they're like a fire been going to a fire in a fire truck. The dog's running fast, but the rabbits just hop, 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 hopping along. Tell them about he licking his paw. And every now and then, the rabbit stop, he'll take a paw, <laughs> lick all the moisture off of it, <laughs> like so. They do that. They do that. I've seen them do that. I wouldn't make it up. I've seen enough rabbits to know that it looks like, I'm not saying it does, but it looks like they kind of enjoy it. It's, it's hard to know what a rabbit's going to do. Yeah, they generally do make some kind of a rough circle. These swamp rabbits, if you're running swamp rabbits, they'll run a circle uh, up to, you know, half, three quarters of a mile. It might be, like Joe said, an elliptical kind of a circle. And a lot of times they'll go down to the end and make a, some small circles and then line back out and come back to you. You just have to guess. You just, really, you just have to guess. If, you can, if those dogs can stay on him long enough, He'll do the same thing three or four times if they can stay with him. And that's what we're looking for here. If they can stay with him, I think he'll be back here because he's been here about three times. Here comes the rabbit, here he comes. Got him. Got him, then you do. I got him. 
You know, I've been knowing Joe since 1988. And uh, when I met him, he was a game warden and I wasn't. And uh, years went by and we worked together. I was a park ranger and, and I helped him some and he helped me some. And uh, we developed a good, a good strong bond, a good strong friendship. And, and uh, he's retired now, so I used to get to work with him there. I, I got on as a game warden. He helped me, I'll just tell you. Kind of gave me some pointers. And uh, he's retired now and has been for the last few years. And this is where we get together and right. have and, and, right. and keep our friendship strong and visit right. and talk about family and, and, and good things like that. So that's what we do besides just the rabbit hunting. I've got a young swamp rabbit out of eastern Oklahoma. He's been running through the uh, water this morning. He's got a lot of water on him. If Jim and I had, in modern terminology, a USB cord to plug into each other, we would exchange lots of information the time we're together. A lot of people don't know or don't have this camaraderie or have a common goal that we do things together. And maybe they do something different, I'm not sure. And that's how it all works. They're hot on the trail. Maybe he'll circle again. If he does, maybe we'll get him this time. I would like more people to rabbit hunt. Uh, at the same time, it's competition. Uh, and, and you know, people get into your spots you like to hunt, your favorite spots. But it's such a good, I think it's a good, clean sport I smooth missed that first shot. <laughs> we'll let the dogs find it. That way they know it's done. You don't have to kill a rabbit every time you go. You don't have to kill a rabbit every fifth time you go. You can go and enjoy the product that you've produced. You can breed your dogs, raise puppies, train them. A lot of enjoyment comes in, in training puppies and watching them develop and watching them learn how to, to operate like their mom and dad did. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There's your swamp rabbit. About a six pounder, five and a half, six pound rabbit. Not too many of those left in a lot of the state of Oklahoma. There's still some down here in southeastern Oklahoma. Anyway, dogs did good. I didn't shoot as good as I should have, but anyway, we got us one. There he is, Sassy. I, it's just fulfilling to me to get to do that, and I think it would be for others too. I, I, I wish more people did. There good girl. That's old Dan. And Droopy. How y'all doing, huh? Oh, you finally got that old rascally rabbit run up here. No, Jim finally shot it for you. He's a good boy. Hello there. Hello there, Spot. You're a good girl. You good rabbit dog. You good rabbit dog. And uh, you don't always have to shoot a rabbit. We don't shoot rabbits all the time. But we did today. It's a good. It's a good thing to do once in a while. We take some home and and uh, we cook them up and we eat them and we lock them. And uh, but the sport of running the dogs, I think, is what uh, convinces us that that we should hit the woods with our beagles and and it, it gives us a, a motivation to get out and move around and get a little exercise and enjoy the great outdoors of Oklahoma. Yes, and uh, what else could you do on a day like today rather than get outside and get some exercise like a 74-year-old man that I am? What motivation would you have to get out and get exercise with rabbit hunting? Good dog. Good dog. And the dogs like to see and smell what they've been chasing. 
Good dog. Even sassy, maybe she'll learn her collar today. Well, I don't know. We might give her another time or two. <laughs> All right. You ready to load him up, Jim? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, load him up, Joe. Yep. On to the next one. See if we can get another started. Laverne, what are you doing? She's running her daddy. 